statistics show nearly half of Arkansas renters can't comfortably pay rent. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Pignate. And I'm Chad Mira. Thanks for staying up with, late with us tonight. KNWA's Andrew Epperson in studio to tell us how the problem can be alleviated. Andrew. There's a greater share of people who rent in this state than the national average, and that number is rising. But for many people in Arkansas, that monthly payment is a burden each time it comes around. Oh. Slayton Wood and Nikki Jogu are roommates in Fayetteville, and both spend more than half their monthly pay on rent. Yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult, especially in a college town where jobs are hard to find, at least from what I've seen. Paying rent was like okay at first. Now, like, rent's coming up on the first again. I'm like, ah. Uh. The latest U.S. Census numbers show nearly half of Arkansas renters spend more than a third of their income on rent. You can do RF. Yeah, I can. As defined by the Bureau's standards, this means people like Wood and Jogu are burdened by the expense of renting their homes. There's still a lot more people here doing that uh, than in other states, and certainly a lot more renters paying more than 30% of their income than compared to homeowners paying 30% of their income or more in housing. Mervyn Jebaraj is the director for the University of Arkansas's Center for Business and Economic Research. He says Arkansans in this spot have to make some tough choices. It is okay to pay more than 30% for housing if you can reduce your transportation Cost by living a lot closer to uh, a lot of the amenities. Jebaraj says building and developing more housing will help turn around renters' problems. Oh, Wood says he's looking forward to the day where most of his money isn't going toward rent. I'm going to feel rich. I'm going to feel wealthy. I'm going to feel good. Are you camping? I can't anymore, see because yeah. I'm not wearing my glasses. Jebaraj says the numbers have actually gotten slightly better in Arkansas because income has risen, but the slight rise isn't enough to say things are getting significantly better. In studio, Andrew Epperson, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Happening now, the Food and Drug Administration recalling a type of dog food over salmonella concerns. Yeah, listen up. Make sure you don't have this kind of the agency's warning pet owners to stay away from performance dog frozen raw pet food. It was produced on or after July 22, 2019. The FDA reports samples tested positive for salmonella and listeria. And, quote, represents a serious threat to human and animal health. Dog food has become under scrutiny by the FDA this year, not over concerns of bacteria, but heart disease. The American Red Cross is urging all races and ethnicities to donate blood. According to the Red Cross, about 36,000 units of red blood cells are needed daily in the U.S. To put that number in perspective, a single car accident victim may need as many as 100 units of blood. For patients with rare blood types or those who receive regular blood transfusions, blood must be matched closely beyond the blood type to reduce the risk of developing complications from transfusion therapy. The Red Cross stopped in Rogers today, but there's several drives scheduled around Northwest Arkansas. You can find when and where those will be near your neighborhood. Just head to our website, nwahomepage.com, and then click on Community Calendar. Looking ahead, a week-long road closure starts tomorrow in Fayetteville. The north outside lane of West North Street will be closed between Garland Avenue and North Leverett for repairs starting on Monday. The city of Fayetteville warns drivers to drive carefully between 6 a.m and 4 p.m. The lane is expected to reopen on Friday. And expect lane closures on both I-540 and Interstate 40 in Van Buren starting tonight. According to RDOT, the inside northbound and southbound lanes of I-540 between mile marker 2 and mile marker 3 will be closed tonight. That start at 8 p.m. and it will continue for the next month. Alternating lanes of I-40 in the eastbound direction between mile marker 12 and mile marker 17 as well as between mile marker 3 and 5 will be closed between 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. every night. Drivers should exercise caution when approaching and traveling through all highway work zones. It will be a trip to remember for every College of the Ozark student traveling to Washington, D.C. will soon be required. KNWA's Katie Brousseau shows us the free opportunity for students. College leaders call an investment in patriotic education. 
a student at College of the Ozarks has really broadened my knowledge of what it means to be a citizen of the United States and to embody patriotism. That patriotic education here at College of the Ozarks is now stretching beyond campus. Why not? College President Dr. Jerry Davis says every student will soon be required to visit our nation's capital. We're trying to make the best citizens that we can. We think this will add to it. As a general education course, the citizen trip is free to see of those seniors. The monuments, um, Smithsonian, we'll go to Arlington. While the college has taken patriotic trips in the past, this will be the first that's required by all students. It's not cheap. But we have lots of donors around the United States that pay for things like this. Not only will they visit places like the Capitol building and the White House. To walk the same halls and go in the same rooms as all of our former presidents and our current president. But they'll also learn from some very special people. A visit with a World War II veteran at the World War II Memorial. But it's certainly not only during this trip that students will learn about the sacrifices made for our country. Students say this is something they're taught daily. Here at College of the Ozarks. Military science and the classroom study. Giving students an appreciation for patriotism and our nation's past. Understanding on why it's important, uh, not that it's just history, it's still relevant today. Reporting from College of the Ozarks, I'm Katie Brousseau. Drivers in Arkansas involved in multiple high speed chases this month. How police use new tactics to stop cars safely. That's coming up. But first, let's take a look at your weather. And Dan, will it cool down and feel more like fall anytime soon? Uh, it will, Jennifer. We've got cooler weather coming our way. Finally, the front that we have been waiting for, it is on the way. Let's check it out, though. Today, you know it wasn't cool. 87 degrees, another hot one. We'll show you how hot it's been this September and how much that fall front drops the temperatures next. You're watching KNWA News at 10 with Jennifer Pinate, Chad Mira, Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott, and your Pigtrail Nation report with Drew Ammon. Closed captioning is sponsored by Air Control. England Dental. Quality dentistry with compassion and care. Call us today. an obstacle. But when you have best-in-class all-weather capability, it's just another opportunity. Jeep Cherokee. Hurry in to Jeep Adventure Days for a great deal. When you build with Schubert Mitchell Homes, you get more than an all-brick home with a warranty you can count on. Our top brand products and high-end finishings transform functional space into upscale living at a price you can afford. Call today to start the home you've been dreaming of. The 2019 Expedition. Drive it now with 0% financing for 72 months. Plus, first responders get an additional thousand in bonus cash. Freedom. I, I see 2010 now. You know, I, I compare it to an old TV that I have at home and versus the new TV that I just got a few months ago. And it's so different. That's how I see right now. I mean, I would I never imagined I could see this good. Hurry in to Jeep Adventure Days for a great deal. Trade in and get $6,250 total cash allowance on select 2019 Jeep Cherokee models and dealer stock. Jeep Adventure Days. Weather Authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott. Another summer-like day. I'm calling this faux fall. It is not really feeling like fall outside, but it will later on as we start the month of October. Check out this sunset, though. I was mowing the grass uh, during the dinner break, and you can see that beautiful sunset. It lasted for a while, too. Absolutely gorgeous out there. Uh, temperatures were really hot this month. In fact, check this out. 
quite the heat wave in September. Now, what you see in plus two, plus five, that means two degrees above our average high for that day. There were only three days that we were below, uh, which is Friday the 13th. We saw some rain on the 20th, and then the big rainstorm that happened on the 24th. Other than that, that's it. That's the only days where the temperatures were below <laughs> the uh, average. So clearly tomorrow we're going to take a look at how warm this September has been compared to past Septembers. I'm sure it'll be up there in the top 10. Warming trend continues. Now the humidity is going to make it feel summery. We've got a fall-like front that's coming in on Thursday, and scattered showers will be possible with that front on Thursday, Friday, and into the weekend. Temperatures in the mid-70s with dew points in the upper 60s. Look at these temperatures. Mid-70s across the board. you got lower 80s in Fort Smith. Dew points are high, and so it's going to be feeling like summer. The next three days are really going to be brutal, especially since, you know, it's October. You got the fall decorations. It's just going to feel that much hotter outside. Ridge of high pressure is the reason we're going to see that heat wave. And when you look at this low pressure system to our northwest and dry line, that's where the warm, humid air is ahead of that. And that's not going anywhere. Look at the snow, though, up in the northwest. In fact, uh, you got western Wyoming that's getting quite a winter storm. You got severe weather east of that. Now, eventually, over time, that cooler weather will make its way into the region. I'll show you that coming up in just a bit. But tomorrow morning for the bus stop, no issues, no rain, temperatures in the mid-80s during the afternoon. So if you're running outside or exercising, you're going to have to take it easy again. And we've got a repeat performance on, Thursday, on Tuesday as well as Wednesday. But finally, by the end of the work week, we are going to see some changes. Let me show you this. Here's the front. Uh, by Thursday late morning into the afternoon, it starts to push down. High temperatures potentially in the 60s and 70s. So this is cooler weather, and notice how that front surges south. And then we've got a big cool push of air on Sunday. Look at that. Temperatures in the lower 50s, and morning lows will be dropping potentially maybe into the 40s as well. Now, we don't have that on the seven-day quite yet, just because that's a little bit beyond the seven-day. But we've got some cooler weather. However... The next few days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's going to be pretty toasty. Thursday, we're in the upper 70s, so a little cooler, and perhaps we could be dropping off that temperature a little bit more. Then we've got mid-70s on Friday, mid-70s, and notice the morning low on Sunday in the lower 50s. That 74 on Sunday could be early on, and then the temperatures will drop throughout the day. So. I would say the second half is looking a lot like fall. Yeah, starting All right, to see fall's some coming yeah. finally. Serious changes, finally. I know. All right, looking nice. forward to it. Thanks, Dan. Police and Harrison involved in two high-speed chases within a week of each other. Caitlin Sinet explains how recent training helped them bring the drivers to a stop. The first chase on September 12th started in Missouri after police say 29-year-old Sammy Awad attempted to hit a police officer. Once the chase got into Arkansas, Boone County Sheriff's deputies and our officers uh, took over the chase. The second started in Harrison on September 20th after an officer tried to stop 50-year-old Christopher Albert's car after seeing a headlight was burned out. That led to a 100 mile per hour tour through the city. By the way, these people drive, they have no due regard for life or property. But Awad and Alberts had pretty poor timing. The city's police department just weeks ago trained to stop reckless drivers in their tracks. It takes the vehicle out, spins it out of control, usually causes the engine to stall. It's called TVI. Tactical Vehicle Intervention, and the assistant chief says it's more effective than spike strips. And with the strips, people can drive around them and avoid them. The police chief says it's best to try to do the TVI as soon as possible, but make sure they don't spin someone into a building. Both men in these instances were spun out and eventually arrested. It probably saved uh, some somebody from being injured. The assistant chief says Alberts had quite the explanation for taking police on a wild ride. He was a race car driver up in, he told me, Missouri, and he raced on the dirt tracks on the weekends and stuff, and he said, usually I can outrun you guys, but this time, you stop me. Now, before you decide to go out on the streets of Harrison and be the next Jimmy Johnson, you should know the people who flee from the police face some serious consequences. Aggravated assault, fleeing in a vehicle, disregard traffic control device, reckless driving, no proof of insurance, leaving the scene of accident, improper headlights, speeding. And the list goes on. Reporting in Harrison. Oh, wow.
I'm Caitlin Sinet. <laughs> It's a long list of crimes right mm -hmm. there. Oh, coming up in your Pig Trail Nation reports, did Ben Hicks win back the starting job after his performance on Saturday? Hear what Chad Moore said after the game. That's next as KNWA News continues. Washington Regional Urgent Care. We offer less weight and more convenience seven days a week. What's the score? No idea. There's no waiting list for the grand life, no buy-in fee, so it's easy to make a move to a community where neighbors always find a reason to gather, where the little things are taken care of so you can focus on the big picture. Come experience how grand life can be in Northwest Arkansas's newest all-inclusive independent living community. Grand Village at Clear Creek is now open. Move in today. I'm Jack with our vest. Today's goal, I'll maneuver these chest pros. Checkmate. 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 Okay. I should let an expert like James help me. And for your financial goals, our vest is the expert. Our approach to financial planning will help you make all the right moves. Get started now and be prepared for the future like royalty. Trust the experts. Trust our vest. Lewis Automotive Group in Northwest Arkansas for over 70 years. Visit our website to view current inventory and specials. Senior Walk is one of our most beloved traditions at the University of Arkansas. Each year, generations of alumni visit our home on the hill to find their names on Senior Walk and share this legacy with loved ones. Senior Walk connects past, present, and future Arkansas Razorbacks. We hope you will join the Arkansas Alumni Association in celebrating Senior Walk and preserving it for generations to come. Now, from Fayetteville, high on the hill, this is your Pig Trail Nation report. Sponsored by Crane Automotive Team. There's a potential for quite a bit of a quarterback controversy with the way Ben Hicks came in and surprised everybody with his play on Saturday. He ended up with he ended up 15 of 27 for 188 yards and a touchdown. Twice he led Arkansas down the field on touchdown drives that gave his team the lead. A complete contrast to what we saw from Hicks before he lost his job to Starkle. Combine that with the fact that there was a little over a quarter that Starkle played and moved the change, but he couldn't get the ball into the end zone. And the way Chad Morris praises Hicks after the game, some in the media were thinking that maybe he'd won his starting job back. He was very calm, and as a matter of fact, on the sidelines, he was very prepared. Um, and he knew that, uh, um, you know, he had a great feel for, for what was going on with our offense. And I thought that he gave us a chance. Uh, I thought he put some really some good balls on the money, and, and, um, and that was good to see. And that's what you ask of your backup when he comes in. Does it go back to being 1A and 1, 1B with those two guys? No, Nick's our starter. There you have it. Chad Morris saying Nick still the starter. Two guys in the lineup defensively yesterday coming up big for Arkansas when they needed it. Monteric Brown and Jamario Bell. Brown didn't play in the San Jose State game due to a muscle strain from the Colorado State game. Had four tackles yesterday and an interception in the end zone. Jamario Bell, his second game back after suffering a knee injury against Portland State. Very active up front. Two sacks and two tackles for loss. One of those sacks on a critical third down play for A&M to force them to kick a field goal to make it 31-27. I mean, we got Buster and Jamario in them back. We didn't we didn't play them as much as we like to play them. Um, get Buster back in the starting row. I, I think this 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 uh, bye week will give us you know a better chance with guys coming back and getting back healthy. Jamario stepped up big today. I love the way he played today, you know. And then hopefully he he stay healthy and we can keep building on from that. You heard Scooter say at Arkansas on a bye week they will pick up SEC play with Kentucky on October 12th.
12th. To soccer now, the 13th ranked Razorbacks trying to keep their winning streak alive, hosting 8th ranked South Carolina today. Now, the Hogs 2 0 in conference play heading into the matchup today. Nothing, nothing here in the 77th minute, but South Carolina's Back. Grace Fisk with the assist to Jalissa Harris, and that's going to give the Gamecocks a goal. Their first goal of the game, and it's the only one they needed. One nothing, the final. Arkansas will host Ole Miss on Thursday. Men's basketball getting ready for their start of the season coming up. They've got the red white game this upcoming Saturday at Barnhill Arena. Thursday, we talked to the guys after practice. Senior Andrew Bailey talking about his adjustment to Eric Musselman. Trying to learn a whole new system and all these plays and, you know, just running up and down, trying to keep the same pace but with more plays and more strategies and stuff. It was kind of difficult at, at first for everyone, but as, as, as it went on and Coach, it made, he made it fun for us, so he, it, we got to learn. We got to have fun and learn at the same time, so he made, he made it good for everyone. Telling you I'm ready for this season to get started. That is going to do it for your Pig Trail Nation report. Here on KNWA, we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. And this week, we're introducing you to the first U.S.-born Hispanic astronaut breaking barriers for Hispanics here on Earth and beyond. That's next. When homemade is too good to keep at home. Helping Arkansas business do business. Making better happen with First Security. It all felt like a dream. The years felt like a breeze as they passed us by. Ooh. The 2019 Toyota Highlander, the best seats in the house. Right now, get $3,000 customer cash, or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a sophisticated new 2019 Highlander. Toyota, let's go places. Pediatrician and active mom, Virginia McCord, knew glasses and contacts were not an option for her lifestyle. That's why she chose LASIK from McDonald Eye Associates. After LASIK, I can really just focus on my family, my patients, my activities, and don't really have to worry about my vision anymore. I trust all my physician colleagues and their opinion. They put their trust in Dr. Betts, and I did too, and I'm really glad I did. If you're tired of glasses and contacts, you can schedule your free evaluation with McDonald Eye Associates today. From setting the budget to signing the papers, we guide you through the home buying process and get you the key. Making better happen with First Security. You're watching KNWA News at 10. KNWA continues celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. One man took the saying, shoot for the stars, quite literally, breaking barriers for Hispanics on Earth and beyond. Sidney McNeil Gutierrez is quite possibly one of the most influential Hispanics in the world, not only making it into space, but also making it into the history books. I remember one uh, individual, a little bit older than me, who told me, you know, there's no way you're going to be an astronaut. I was like, why? And he said, um, you're never going to pick a kid from New Mexico. Sidney McNeil Gutierrez, also known as retired Air Force Colonel, to the world NASA astronaut. I'm the first U.S.-born Hispanic astronaut, yes. Wow, what a, what a title. Did you ever think that title was going to be bestowed upon you? Um, I always wanted to be an astronaut. As it accomplished his first goal by making it into the Air Force Academy, he would soar past his second goal and became a pilot, flying the F-15s and becoming a pilot instructor, then becoming a test pilot for the F-16s. He wasn't done just yet, though. He would apply to NASA, and you guessed it, he'd get that call. How old were you then? I was 30, I think I was 32. 32 years old. Yeah. Getting a call from NASA. Yeah. Saying, come on down. Right. The first person he called, his wife, Mary Ann. Did you ever think he was going to reach that goal? I thought if anybody could, he could. He's a very determined person. In 1991, Sid, the first U.S.-born Hispanic astronaut, would head into space aboard shuttle Columbia. With the tragedy of the Challenger fresh on their minds, Sid suited up, boarded the shuttle, and looked it off. You saw it going up, but feeling those shock waves against your chest. 
made you realize that they're really going into space. In 1994, Sid became the first Hispanic to ever command any space mission, including Russian missions. I never saw it as being a Hispanic astronaut or whatever. I was just an American astronaut. Oh, couldn't even imagine. Congrats to him. Mm -hmm. Well, will we see fall weather as the week continues? I hope so. Meteorologist Dan Scoff will be right back with a look at your forecast. It's not the final chapter in the book of life, but rather a new beginning, a second act. Power is a 12 inch touchscreen. But when you pair it with back seats that do front seat things and end up the 2019 Motor Trend Truck of the Year, that's the power to innovate. Come to Ram Power Days for great deals on the most powerful lineup of pickups. A valet dancer's body goes through like so much pain and the pain was really bad in my knees, my ankles, even in my hips sometimes. When you're a dancer, that's just the last thing that you want. And so my mom took me into good feet. And then that's when we got my arch supports. Like a week after I got them, I was like, holy cow, like all of a sudden the pain just went away. I didn't even know the arch supports existed until I got them. And I was like, where were these all my life? <laughs> See if they work for you with a free arch support fitting and test walk at the Good Feet store. When you build with Schubert Mitchell Homes, you get more than an all brick home with a warranty you can count on. Our top brand products and high end finishings transform functional space into upscale living at a price you can afford. Call today to start the home you've been dreaming of. Stay alert for motorcycles when you drive. If you were injured in a motorcycle accident caused by someone else's negligence, call Taylor King Law at 1 800 Car Wreck. We're going to be on your side, by your side. With the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed, Furniture Row's four-day super sale has something for everyone. That's four days where the more you buy, the more you save. Shop sofas, dining sets, bedrooms, and mattresses. And save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. No limit. Plus, make your cash go further with four years no interest financing. The four-day super sale, only at Furniture Row. Hurry, sale ends Monday the 30th. At Ram Power Days, get a great deal on Motor Trend's 2019 Truck of the Year. Now get an average $13,100 in total values on the 2019 Ram 1500 Classic. Hurry in now. Welcome back. If you've had enough of summer, well, this week, maybe a little bit of a change on the way. Hope so. we got to get through three days. Okay. Just All three right. more days. We're counting down. Faux fall <laughs> is about to be finished. So. Faux fall. Yeah. Faux for fall. real fall. Yeah, for real fall. I like that, away. faux fall. It just kind of rolls off your <laughs> tongue does, pretty yeah. nicely. It does. Upper 80s, uh, feeling more like the 90s, but there's that cooler weather coming in. Late week, great for high school football and the weekend. Mm -hmm. Three more days. Yeah. Three more days. Dan, thank you. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Good night.